So we'll we'll do our basic um, introductory demo of our Silicon Expert interface into EDM library. One of the goals of the interface is to provide users the ability to search for components and data within their already approved library. And if they don't find what they're looking for, be able to extend that search into Silicon Expert. So we have a sample of a EDM library uh, system here using the Silicon Expert taxonomy, where, for example, if I'm looking for a um, 12 picofarad capacitor, um, we want to be able to uh, search for the with uh, out having to know what kind of format or uh, input terms that are expected for that field so we can use pop-up menus for that um, we're going to look for 12 picofarad and then um, maybe a 16 volt and search within our current library um, I see I don't have anything in my current library, so now I want to take this search and be able to extend this search to Silicon Expert. So we're going to perform a Silicon Expert part search with those same values. And we see that we have uh, 50 returned out of a possible 1,323. <laughs> Um, we can extend that 50 if we want to, for example, if we want to change that maybe um, from 50 to uh, maybe 100 returned. I can perform that search again. And now return 100 out of those possible 1300. The other thing we want to be able to do is is during our search, be able to look for specific properties and parameters besides just the searching for the voltage and tolerance maybe we also want to look at dielectric case style just properties in general tolerance when i perform the search within edm library we can uh, mimic that same similar search in silicon expert so now as i'm performing that search we're going to display a very similar set of results as we see in EDM library. And again, we see the capacitance value, case style, various other properties. And so we can look at a couple of these parts, and if there's a few that we're interested in, we can go ahead and click on these and then we can do a view details and now we're actually grabbing all of the data um, that is possible through the interface to be able to compare these three parts that i'm interested in and we can look at data sheets we can look at everything that was in yellow is indicating a difference between one of the three parts and we can scroll down and see all the parametrics, all of the um, life cycle information, packaging information, package data for these parts, uh, reach, environmental, um, Rojas data, availability and pricing, risk information, uh, franchised inventory, for example, if there's more than one, uh, we can pop them up and we can even navigate to those particular distributors to even look uh, directly on that website for that uh, distributor information. Uh, chemical information, alerts, alternates, all of that information is available on these parts. And now once we find a part that we're looking for, what we want to be able to do with that is one of two things. If I'm a design engineer or a regular user and we have a part we want to be able to use, we want to be able to take that part and initiate a new part request process for that particular part. And so we can do that one of two ways, either from the details or we can also take it from here and initiate a new part request. 
into our EDM library system, where we now automatically track the part number, manufacturer name, the silicon expert ID, so that this particular part um, now we the everybody that's going to look at reviewing this part, component engineers and librarians, they don't have to go relook it up and go refind it. We have buttons we can pull up the the same information the design engineer is looking for, data sheets, packaging specs, etc. And we have additional automation within EDM library that customers can leverage to be able to use to um, drive their part request process. We can drive external part request processes if we need to as well. Uh, but one of the big value points comes from once we have a part from Silicon Expert, we can now automatically create the uh, the part and all of its AML that we've added to the part request very simply and easily just by pushing a button. And then we're going to go ahead and create the manufacturer part number and create the component, assign the component number, take all of the specific parametrics and data that the customer wants to grab from the uh, rich set of data that comes from Silicon Expert to populate into their components. So without having to scan and manually type in from data sheets, I have created a component, associated it to the, manu the Vachet manufacturer, and populated all of the component data from, uh, from the data sheet through the Silicon Expert interface. This data then will uh, we maintain through a set of uh, background utilities that allows us to um, update this data. If I open up the manufacturer part, we can run these utilities are typically run in the background. I will run one of these manually so you can see what's going on where we can take this data and run it on a nightly or a weekly basis so that when any data or properties change, um, We'll see now the coming from Silicon Expert versus what's already in EDM library. Anything in yellow would be a difference. So let me go ahead and grab a uh, pre existing part. We'll just grab one. And run our check on that to see if we have any differences. Typically, at least distributor information may get updated if you want to pull that in. So now you can see we have several fields, inventory, price, data sheets been updated. Uh, the estimated years to end of life has been updated, risk, all of this kind of information that can be updated daily or hourly, depending on how often you want to run this background utility. And we have the ability to update this data on a property by property and part by part basis. So if you want to do rate parts, we can override uh, certain fields if we want to, or we can always take values from silicon expert. And then we update this. And again, this utility typically runs in the background, so there's no screens that pop up. It just runs and it maintains all of these fields and all of this data um, once you've associated a part as as one to be able to use in in EDM library. And then once this is done, then we now have got any and all of that data updated from Silicon Expert. We have a rich set of notification utilities such that if there are certain changes made to a part, so for example, if parts go obsolete or if the lead time um, goes out to a specific uh, uh, target value or if you get any alerts, counterfeit notices, um, specific alerts, um, not necessarily alerts where AVX acquires American KSS. We may not care about that, but we do care if they're going to discontinue a part or if there's been some uh, counterfeit notices. We have a rich set of notification services that allows uh, users to be updated, uh, groups to be updated, component engineering, so that you can now 
take this information and be able to not have to manually track all of these parts. Um, we've now subscribed to all these parts so that um, you can get the notifications when th certain items have changed. We also have the ability to um, run scans from a schematic or from a bill of materials where we can identify parts that are problem parts while the designer is actually designing so that they don't have to worry about going through a design review after the fact, finding some parts that uh, shouldn't be used in that design anymore so that they can uh, make that swap early into the design process, saving time and saving a lot of cost.